It's time now for County Wide, a presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. You'll hear about the interesting issues and happenings that affect all our lives. Here's today's County Wide. Well, good day and welcome to the program. It is County Wide. I'm Brad Miller, and we're happy to welcome uh, into our studio today a guest that we have visited with uh, before uh, and a tremendous organization that we're so happy to uh, to have in our community, fortunate to have in our community for 30 years coming up with a uh, fundraiser and expo on April 1st, and that is the Verde Valley Sanctuary. Tracy McConnell is the Community Development Director. Did I get that correct? Yes, you did. Thank you for bringing your smiling face uh, into the studio today and uh, uh, going to share with us a little bit about uh, the Verde Valley Sanctuary and 30 years strong. Yes, absolutely. You, you don't have that kind of longevity without doing something valuable and uh, doing it very, very well in the community. So Thank congratulations. You. Appreciate uh, that. First and, uh, first and foremost. Um, you're doing a lot. There's going to be a lot happening uh, on April 1st with an expo and a get together, and this will be the uh, on the greens community center. Is, yes, is that right? Tell exactly. me real quick about that, and then I want to share what the sanctuary is and what you do. Absolutely. Well, this is actually being hosted by Inspire Communities. Okay. I love that name. Yeah, that's cool. And they run a couple of different communities, and the <laughs> event is going to be held at one of their communities on the greens. And you go through Old Town Cottonwood, and then take a left on On the Greens Boulevard. Yeah. Yeah. And just meander up that road to the community center. Yeah, nice spot. Easy to find. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so it'll be there one to four on April 1. That's right. Okay. And a lot of activities and a lot of different kinds of things are uh, are happening all to uh, to benefit uh, uh, the Verde Valley Sanctuary. But, but let's back up and let's kind of start. Um, we're familiar with you because we've chatted before, but... Uh, if anyone in the community is not, can you give me kind of a one or two minute to synopsis? What is the Verde Valley Sanctuary and what does it do for our community? Well, I think it's important to know our mission. And our mission is to provide safety, services, and comfort to survivors of domestic and sexual violence. Okay. So that is our primary purpose ever since we began. Okay. We began as a domestic violence shelter, actually, about 30 years ago. Uh, a group of, a grassroots group of women gathered together and knew of domestic violence situations and would actually take them into their home. They would um, make phone calls on their behalf in the community. They would take them to shelters 50 plus miles away to Flagstaff, Prescott and uh, Phoenix. Right. And um, then in 1994, they had gathered enough support from the community to invest in a six-bedroom mo six modular. Um, that's our very beginning. Right. And we've expanded to address sexual violence as well. Okay. It's, it's kind of a double-edged sword because I'm so grateful and thankful, as are so many folks that have come th into contact with Verde Valley Sanctuary, that you're here to provide that. But at the at the same time, we're sorry that it needs to be provided, and that's going to be that'll be the dichotomy that we have to wrestle with forever. Um, typically speaking, we're talking about uh, I, I'm going to use just a very generic example. Mm -hmm. a, 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 say a young woman, two years married, and has a little baby at home, and it's not working very well. The husband perhaps is aggressive or or violent, and I know there's an entire spectrum of scenarios. But just help me understand, maybe using that kind of a, a, a snapshot. Um, she can call you, reach out to you. How, yes. how, how would that process happen? Say she's been physically um, uh, injured uh, right. by her husband. What, ha how, what does she do? One of the best things you can do is just pick up a phone. So finding a, a little bit of margin to step away from the home and from the abuser and actually picking up the phone and calling 928-634-2511. And on that phone, you have an advocate um, that is there 24-7. Local number. Local number. Incredible. Yes. And you can explain your situation. They can do an assessment over the phone and then identify a number of uh, options that the individual could have um, in order to separate themselves from the violence in a safe uh, fashion. And there's a safety plan in, in Involved in that assessment sure. as well. So, sure. and every single uh, individual has a unique set of situations right. um, that they have to address in right. order to be safe and to actually walk away from or run away from right. 
the abuse. And that's a question. It enrages me when I hear that, and I'm sure it probably does you as well. So many times we hear about terrible tragedies in the news. People say, why didn't she just leave? Mm. Oh, he threatened. There were children involved too. Why didn't she get them out of the house? And the victim immediately gets blamed. And your experience and your position with the Verde Valley Sanctuary, you know it just ain't that simple. It is not. It is very complicated to actually decide that yeah. you are being abused. One is to identify with that. Right. Um, that's a hard thing to do, um, to admit that you're, um, you're a survivor of domestic violence. Um, the other thing is that 98% of the situations have financial abuse um, in, in that recipe. You don't have the means to, yeah, to leave. Okay. There, so walking out with nothing, no bank account to, to lean on, yeah. no credit cards to lean on. Um, you have children um, in that situation that you just gave um, where you're leaving their what's known to them. Um, and there are certain comforts in that. Um, there's also, um, a, possibly a pet involved and the pet has been threatened, um, to be harmed or to be killed. Um, there's a lot of different types of, uh, manipulations and barriers that you have to be willing to walk through to get out that door. Because abusers can be extraordinarily cunning yes. and, and clever and they're going to put up those walls and slowly wall you in and you have to realize too that you're walking out into the unknown who's going to catch us right who's going to help us all the way right um and that is why the verde valley sanctuary exists because we take it from the first time that they contact us all the way to the point where they're in safe and affordable housing now how tell me about that how does that work let's go back to our little kind of scenario that i painted a young woman is able to get out with her baby and their mm-hmm. dog, the family dog. Yes. Um, and they get in touch with you. They get yes. you. They get you on the phone. What happens next? Then, um, if they uh, need shelter, for instance, sure. we do have an emergency shelter. You can stay up to four months at that shelter. We get a lot done. There's um, a plan put in place that's directed by the survivor. Um, we never tell them what to do. We give them lots and lots of options and pathways to those options. Nope. And we, we hold their hand um, all the way through that process until they're able to graduate into safe and affordable housing situation. And before we open the mics, you told me that that's, very, that's a very important piece mm-hmm. because there has to be some empowerment for the survivors. That's right. If you're just telling them that it's going to, it seems to me it's going to make it easier, I say easier, but... Uh, more prone, perhaps. There's going to be more pratfalls uh, to stumble over, whether if they become empowered, they feel like they're directing themselves. That's the, right. The control. That's yes. the word. Yeah, they take control back. Um, they're, it's all about empowering the individual right? Um, based on their unique situation. Um, and that's why the plan is always driven by the survivor. It is not driven by our staff. Um, but we do know what community resources are out there. We know how to tap into them correctly. We know you're not waiting on the phone forever right. each and every time that you're reaching out. We actually help clear that way right. um, for them. And they're learning about domestic violence and, and possibly sexual violence and what that does to the brain, what that does to your life, um, what it does to your children. Right. Um, so that they're able to combat the abusers um, will to um, want to bring them back the hold that they yeah, can, the hold that they have that they you can, can break that hold yeah and yeah. it does take time oh i can't does. imagine yeah and there's um it's one of the reasons why we have comfort in our mission too is that we want them not only to have all of the connections in a safe and affordable place to live we also want them to feel comforted by the community and comforted by um people who really do care um, deeply about their situation is I, I i'm assuming you know what let's do this let's take a little break and when we come back there's a lot more that i would like to find out about the extraordinary and important work uh, that is being done by the verde valley sanctuary uh, and then there's going to be an event 30 years strong uh, in our community of valuable service 
and uh, we want to continue that uh, for, for, for as long as it is needed. So we'll take a short break. When we come back, plenty more to talk about. Our guest today is Tracy McConnell, a Community Development Director, Verde Valley Sanctuary, celebrating 30 years in the Verde Valley. It's countywide. We'll be back right after this. Life changes, then it changes again. Predicting the unexpected in life is impossible. That's why it's called unexpected. So when it comes to financial goals, our philosophy is don't predict, prepare. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Matthias Sandoval. A job loss, change in health, or a loss of a loved one can have a big impact on your family's financial security. Let's work together to help make sure you're equipped for life's unexpected events. Call our office to schedule a face-to-face appointment. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Verde Solaire, your hometown heating, air conditioning, and plumbing company in the Verde Valley. And your trusted North Central Arizona Goodman dealer. Goodman is a name you can trust with the revolutionary Comfort Bridge technology factory installed into select Goodman gas furnaces and air handlers to ensure the entire system operates at peak energy efficient performance. Verde Solar offers free in-home estimates, locally owned and operated since 1983. Visit them at verdesolar.com. Better, cleaner, faster. Are you looking for a way to support your local schools that donate to the tax credit program today? Here's why. At Oak Creek School in Cornville, your tax credit dollars are used to fund field trips, provide sports uniforms, enrich our agriculture program, help our 8th grade students go to Washington, D.C., purchase playground equipment. Ready to donate? You could donate up to $200 as an individual or $400 for a married couple filing jointly. To donate at Oak Creek School, you can find the form on our website at ocscoc.cocsd.us. Rice Accounting encourages you to make your Arizona tax donations now. Let's talk. That's the message from John Randall Murdoch, your local Farm Bureau agent providing a personal touch when making insurance and financial decisions. John will simplify your insurance needs while offering competitive pricing. Let's talk auto, home, life, and farm. Call John at Farm Bureau today at 928-649-8686. Your Cottonwood Farm Bureau property and casualty insurance company. At Farm Bureau, they insure more than just farms. We welcome you back to the program. It is countywide. I'm Brad Miller. Our guest today is uh, Tracy McConnell, Community Development Director with the Verde Valley Sanctuary. And coming up this Saturday from 1 to 4 on the Greens Community Center, there will be a 30th birthday. This will be an expo, a fundraiser, kind of an open house for people yeah. to become, become familiar. So we'll chat a lot about that here in our, our final segment. But I think more importantly, uh, Tracy, for now, is here again kind of outlining for folks who may not be initiated uh, what the Verde Valley Sanctuary is. Um, uh, if you blessedly do not find yourself in the situation where you need it as a survivor, as you talked about in mm-hmm. our first, uh, perhaps uh, your uh, uh, volunteerism, uh, other resources, I, I don't know. But there may be good people in our community who do want to reach out to you mm-hmm. and find out more and about what they can do. And it sounds like this thing coming up on Saturday would be a great time and place to it do It sure would. It'd be a great introduction to all that we are as an organization. And it's We've got a health and um, wellness expo. We've got a raffle going on. We've got KKLD doing a live remote. Yeah, there'll be a lot of things happening. And yeah, the Chamber of Commerce, Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce is doing a ribbon cutting at two. Um, so lots going on. Great place, and to, to, great place to get to know us. Okay. We'll give the uh, the pertinence, the dates and times again at the, uh, at the end of the program. Something here again that you mentioned to me that I just kind of shook my head before we open the microphones. I'd like you to share it with our listeners. Uh, and that is, you said that elder abuse is, uh, I don't know, spiking or is, is is growing. You've seen more of it in recent what years or months? Or we've seen it increase over the last couple of years. Um, we have more elders coming to us that are saying, "We, I can't do this anymore. I can't live like this anymore." Yeah. And so, and they're retired, um, living together. Um, there's really no margin whatsoever between them. Um, and the abuse can escalate in that situation. And so they're reaching out for help. Idle hands. Absolutely. If you're working, you, you have energies going to a different place. Suddenly it's not there. And I mean, it's a transition for anybody. It is, you know, that can, that can be difficult. We've heard about that from, from, you know, some of us in our own families, it didn't get to uh, escalate to, to the point you're talking about, but it sounds like that is happening too often. Right. And we do have a population that is older too. So we, 
we're seeing a reflection of our population yeah. coming in through our doors. And and similarly, they're going to need services like the Verde Valley Sanctuary. They are. And with limited income, um, oftentimes that's the case. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different resources that need to come into play to support them in exiting that situation in a safe and affordable fashion. Yeah. Yeah. So the same things kind of apply. We, we kind of mentioned that there's a, a spectrum of individuals who can and are routinely helped by the Verde Valley Sanctuary. And one other thing you mentioned, um, a lot of times we say, well, um, uh, again, back to that little uh, snapshot we po- pointed at the beginning. Uh, well, the, the abused woman needs to pick up the phone and that's not necessarily true either. If you are a sister mm-hmm. of someone, um, how does that work? Is it, we have a 24-7, 365 crisis hotline that you can call, and that's 928-634-2511. And we have an advocate there that will pick up the phone and talk with you about a situation that you might be experiencing. It might be that you have a friend or a colleague who you would suspect is having um, a domestic violence situation, perhaps, right. uh, or a teenager who is, there may be some... Uh, difficulties with their dating situation so my daughter's boyfriend is a jerk and and, he pushed her around right gotcha right okay and then what do you say what do you do how do you um talk to the individual um safely um so that you're not putting them in harm's way by talking about that in front of the abuser for instance um when uh what we want to do is not re-traumatize the, the survivor mm-hmm. by the conversations that we have with them. So there's some coaching that you can get from our crisis hotline that will support you in dealing with that um, in a healthy, supportive fashion. If I have a family member who is going through home uh, domestic violence in their home, in other words, I, I don't necessarily need to talk to the survivor first. I can call you first. That's right. Describe the situation so that I have some uh, verbal ammunition, if you will, to help my loved one. That's right. Okay, exactly. gotcha. Oh, right. okay. So okay. it's it's okay. for anyone who has anything to do with um, uh, domestic violence or sexual violence situation. It seems like that would be awfully common that you would get those kinds of calls from siblings, coworkers, neighbors. We'd like to see more. Really? Um, yeah. Really? Yeah. For people to reach out to us and let us help you yeah. walk through that process um, so that everyone is kept as safe as possible. Yeah. And that we also support the survivor in every way that we can. Right. Yeah. Right. It's important to believe, to be believed. One thing is that's a, a supportive stance that you can take is to believe the survivor. Mm-hmm. Can, is there, uh, the only word I can kind of think of is intervention uh, in a situation like that. Sometimes survivors are going to be so terrified. Uh, we can't understand their situation, no matter how close we might be. Um, so I can see why, why, why making that call can be difficult until, mm-hmm. you know, they're able to kind of get on board. Um, and I, I just keep coming back to that because it, it, it seems like we should stress that kind of a thing how hard it can be for someone to make that call, to reach out for that help. And you were telling me that it's powerful to take that step, that it takes courage, not cowardice, to ask for this kind of help. Amen. (laughs) It does. Um, To be able to stand up and say, listen, I recognize myself as a survivor of domestic violence or sexual violence, and um, to admit that that's happening to you, one, is a big, courageous step to take. Um, Another one is to walk out those doors or run out those doors. Right. Um, And is someone going to catch me? Is someone going to help me Um, all the way through, Uh, not just with one resource? We will be there, Um, whether it's you need legal advice, um, and we don't provide the advice. We help them navigate the court system. Right. Which can be quite intimidating, (laughs) Um, especially if you've never experienced the court process before. Right. Um, but we will actually help um, the individual prepare all of the paperwork um, in a timely fashion for the court process. We'll be there in the courtroom with the survivor as they face their abuser. Um, and 
sometimes that takes three years yeah. to get completed. Yeah. It's, it's not a, it's not okay. You're out of the house. Now you're on your own. Right. It's not an, okay, you're out of the house. Uh, here's a little bit of a food uh, stipulation. Now you're on your own. It's really kind of a start to finish until you can be on your own. That's exactly it. It's yeah. we. It's the most comprehensive set of services that I've ever seen in in an or in an organization. Yeah, mm-hmm. it takes money to do these things. It does. How can I ask? How are you funded? I know that fundraising is part of what you have to do. Yes. Uh, um, God bless you. I wish it wasn't like that. But uh, can we talk a little bit about absolutely? That? Uh, Thirty to forty percent of our funding comes from donations. Yeah, um, which is critical for us every single year. Right. And we also have state and federal grants that fund our programs, and we apply for those on a regular basis. Um, We also have our Twice Nice Thriftiques. They're award-winning Thriftiques in the community in Sedona, Cottonwood, and Camp Verde, and they provide about 20% of our income on an annual basis. That's significant. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. Well, so make a note there. That is something to uh, to become involved in. And if that doesn't grab you, coming up on uh, Saturday will be an event uh, dedicated to the terrific work that the Verde Valley Sanctuary has done for 30 years and uh, will continue to do for as long as they are needed in our community. We'll talk more about those specifics when we return. Tracy McConnell is our guest. Verde Valley Sanctuary Countywide is back right after this. Life changes, then it changes again. Predicting the unexpected in life is impossible. That's why it's called unexpected. So when it comes to financial goals, our philosophy is don't predict, prepare. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Matthias Sandoval. A job loss, change in health, or a loss of a loved one can have a big impact on your family's financial security. Let's work together to help make sure you're equipped for life's unexpected events. Call our office to schedule a face-to-face appointment. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Verde Solaire, your hometown heating, air conditioning, and plumbing company in the Verde Valley. And your trusted North Central Arizona Goodman dealer. Goodman is a name you can trust with the revolutionary Comfort Bridge technology factory installed into select Goodman gas furnaces and air handlers to ensure the entire system operates at peak energy efficient performance. Verde Solar offers free in home estimates, locally owned and operated since 1983. Visit them at VerdeSolar.com. Better, cleaner, faster. Are you looking for a way to support your local schools that donate to the tax credit program today? Here's why. At Oak Creek School in Cornville, your tax credit dollars are used to fund field trips, provide sports uniforms, enrich our agriculture program, help our 8th grade students go to Washington, D.C., purchase playground equipment. Ready to donate? You could donate up to $200 as an individual or $400 for a married couple filing jointly. To donate at Oak Creek School, you can find the form on our website at ocs.cocsd.us. Rice Accounting encourages you to make your Arizona tax donations now. Let's talk. That's the message from John Randall Murdoch, your local Farm Bureau agent providing a personal touch when making insurance and financial decisions. John will simplify your insurance needs while offering competitive pricing. Let's talk auto, home, life, and farm. Call Jana at Farm Bureau today at 928-649-8686. Your Cottonwood Farm Bureau property and casualty insurance company. At Farm Bureau, they insure more than just farms. Welcome back to the program, our final bit with Tracy McConnell of uh, the Verde Valley Sanctuary. And let's talk about the fundraiser and the expo coming up. I said open house. Is that correct to say? Uh, you know, I think that's a very good way to put it. Kind of, yes. sort of. It's an open house. You can come at any time between 1 and 4. And I can meet folks that uh, like yourself that are uh, very dedicated and uh, uh, part of the Verde Valley Sanctuary. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Looking, this is a fundraiser. You're looking to get ten thousand dollars. Yes, we are this time, and it'll fund some of the programs uh, that uh, continue that uh, continue to be so important, uh, as well as just the general mission that you described for us at the uh, at the top of the program. Again, this will be on the Greens uh, Community Center, and that's nine six nine West on the Greens Boulevard in Cottonwood. Lovely golf course uh, community right there between Cottonwood and uh, and Clarkdale. So easy to find. And uh, anyone should come, I guess, that is interested? Or? Absolutely. We welcome everyone from the community that would be interested in learning more about us and enjoy the Health and Wellness Expo. Um, KKLD is going to be there live um, as well. 
and um, you'll meet a lot of great people in the community. Yeah, that's going to be terrific. Let's do this. Uh, the uh, the uh, phone number once again. This is local, but it's staffed 24 hours. That's impressive. That's hard to do. Uh, those kinds of things, but the need is there. And so you're, you've been able to do that. That's right. And that number again, if someone, uh, if you're in the community and you are having difficulties at home, there is uh, physical or uh, mental abuse or violence in your home, there is a place to go and you can do it as soon as uh, we are, uh, you can dial it uh, right now. Tracy, let's have that phone number again. 928-634-2511. Okay. Just like that. Thank you uh, for the work that you do. Good luck coming up on uh, Saturday. We hope a lot of folks turn out. Let's raise $10,000 for the uh, Verde Valley Sanctuary. We can do that Saturday on the Greens Community Center, 1 to 4. We'll see you there. I'm Brad Miller. It's Countywide. We'll see you next time. This has been Countywide. Listen in each Tuesday and Thursday at this time. If you have a topic or guest idea that you'd like to suggest, email us news at myradioplace.com.